it can make a life-saving difference. That's why a local school bus provider is reconsidering EpiPen training for an allergy attack. NBC 10's Sarah Shamako was at tonight's school meeting in West Greenwich and joins us live with this report. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Gene. For almost one year, the Laidlaw Bus Company has told the Exeter West Greenwich School District it would not administer epinephrine to kids who ride the bus. But now the company has reversed its decision, and some parents are skeptical. I think it's very unethical, and it's very dangerous and could cost a life. As a mother of two children with severe allergies, Susan Wulahujan knows all too well the dangers of bee stings. When you need an EpiPen, you need it immediately. You don't have time to call dispatch, to call 911. Especially out here in the rural areas, um, it could take 20, 25 minutes for rescue to, to get to the child. Wulahujan struggles to breathe a sigh of relief at tonight's school board meeting, even after the bus company that takes her kids to and from school agreed in a letter to the board to start training their employees to administer the drug to kids who have an allergic reaction. That's wonderful for them to be trained, but I do not want the company policy to still forbid them from actually taking action and administering the EpiPen. The letter comes just months after a new law was passed to protect the bus company's liability if they respond. It, it's meant to, to keep our kids safe and, and from the time that they get on the school bus in the morning to the time where they step off at the end of the day. However, the law doesn't mandate the company to act in the event of such an emergency, and that's why this letter isn't enough for parents. I, I think it's concerning that a company whose business is transporting students, transporting students, would have a company policy that would forbid its employees from saving a life. Now, currently, the Laidlaw Bus Company is scheduling sessions uh, for their employees with the district school nurses to be trained. Sarah Shimako, NBC 10 News, live in West Greenwich.